What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. Today I want to do a video kind of giving some tips out for the beta. I was going to do this last week, but I decided to wait until this week when the beta was going to be released for everyone. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I can tell you is now while last week we only could go to level 20 this week, we will be able to go to level 30 on all platforms. That means you're going to, have to open up some new weapons, some weapons that we didn't even get to experience in the past beta or the you know week one beta. Make sure you grind out these weapons. The first several attachments you get is kind of the same on all weapons, but just remember the longer that you use a weapon, the more you rank it up, the more attachments that will be unlocked. So you might look at it to begin with and only have the option for like an optic and maybe a grip or a mag or you know something like that, but the longer that you use that weapon other attachments will uh, kind of open up for other things maybe like uh, you know barrels or uh, stocks or something like that so just because you don't see any attachments that you might be looking for right off the bat just grind the weapon out and you'll start to unlock more stuff now I'm not sure if they're going to change the you know kind of weapon uh, unlock system this time last week we only could go to 30 but there were some attachments that sh that were shown on a lot of weapons that could be unlocked at 31 i'm not sure if that's all we're gonna be able to do this week again is just to go to level 30 or not they haven't said anything about that but you do unlock a lot of stuff up till level 30 so make sure you grind those weapons out because you can get a lot of good attachments and some of these attachments are unique to that particular weapon next thing is the ability to sprint in game of course you have unlimited sprint all the time but of course if you double click your sprint button you will have that super sprint you've seen people i'm sure just kind of like you saw there with me you pick up that gun real quick and move a little bit faster this to me is best for going from cover to cover i have made the mistake several times when playing myself trying to run around the map uh ads time is pretty normal for cod i mean it some people seem seem to think it's slower but and a lot of videos I have seen and really exclusive ace exclusive aces video talking about sprint out times and things like that ADS times it's actually a little bit quicker than what we had in black ops 4 if you guys have not seen that video definitely go check that out I will link it down in the description below we did a lot of good work on that video so it was very you know kind of uh, informational and it explained everything very well but if you hit that super sprint and then go to ADS your sprint out time is very very slow if you're just running around normal or just walking around adsing your sprint out time is a lot quicker so and there also are some attachments that can help with the sprint out time so remember that as well and speaking of attachments make sure that you're kind of realizing what these attachments do because all attachments usually have a positive and a negative effect on the gun or possibly one or two positives and several negatives or several negatives and only one positive so these attachments may not always make guns perform better. Sometimes some of these attachments make the guns perform worse, in my opinion. Um, you watch out for like anything that's vertical. Roofs, windows, doors, even dark areas that you can go into, you know, straight ahead into rooms. There's a lot of head glitching on, uh, going on in the game. You can mount your weapons. So there's a lot of people hanging out in areas, laying down in areas with weapons mounted. And you can get picked off very quickly before you really know what happened. So always make sure that you're looking through these windows and doors and make sure you're keeping your eyes vertical as well. You can climb pretty much anything in game, not everything. But if you see something there, you can climb it. And a lot of times you can climb from there to something else to get to another area. You can get around the map, you know, on top of like barrels and, and, and boxes and crates. And you can get to roofs that you would not kind of expect to be able to get to. So kind of learn the map, you know, the way that you can kind of go around the map by climbing up on stuff and getting the vantage point on people. Because a lot of times people don't look up, kind of like the uh, last tip I just gave you. A lot of people aren't looking up and you can catch a lot of the enemy uh, team, team members kind of by surprise. The game is slow and it, it's been a while since we've had a COD that plays a little bit slower. So it will be a bit campier. Take your time and learn the maps. There's lots of nooks and crannies in these maps. These aren't just, you know, three lane, you know, maps that are just, you know, everybody's going to go to these three lanes. There's a lot of ways to get around the map, like I said, vertically. Also, there's lots of rooms, windows, doors. There's a lot of different places you can get shot from. A lot of different places people can get to the location that you're in, not just one way. So make sure you learn the map uh, and take your time and kind of slow down until you have learned it. Then you can kind of pick up the pace a good bit. Um, always aim downside around corners. That's always a tip I give in any shooter video that I ever, you know, kind of give tips in. 
but it really is a, a, a must in this game because, like I said, people can always be head glitching somewhere. So if you're ads around corners, it is a big, big help. Um, if you're like me, you're used to hip firing, and I, I've always trained myself to hip fire kind of on the way to ADS or hip fire myself out of a situation in kind of close areas. Be kind of careful with hip fire in this game because hip fire is absolutely awful unless you have a laser sight attachment on. If you do not have a laser sight attachment, and it really you really can tell this on ARs, a, uh, the, the hip fire is not good whatsoever. So make sure you try to untrain yourself to hip fire as much unless you're using a laser sight. Um, carry a launcher with you. Really, if you are new, you don't have ghosts yet. Of course, it'll help knock down those UAVs. But there's always something up in the air. A personal UAV, a normal UAV. There's a lot of things that you can shoot down with a launcher. So a launcher secondary is really good. Now, I know some people may want a pistol, and I can understand that. But definitely, if you do not have ghost unlock yet, a launcher is a must. Or you'll pretty much be getting just picked off nonstop. Because UAV spam is, is pretty pretty heavy in the game because of the no you know no dot showing up on the minimap unless there is a uav up so just keep that in mind you can run and gun guys the game i know a lot of people say it's very slow very campy and it is true it is a lot slower and is a bit campier than uh some of the most recent cod games i mean in case most of y'all don't remember i mean modern warfare 2 cod 4 modern warfare 3 those games were slower and campier uh, it's just a lot of the games we've had recently have been a little bit faster paced you know more of those three lane style maps but you can still run and gun in this. You just have to do it a bit different. You cannot run and gun, I would say, as fast. Just slow the running and running and gunning down just a bit. You can still run and gun, but just be aware of all the stuff I've talked about, and you still can be success, uh, very successful. And make sure you do remember, you can change out perks and anything on your weapon that you unlock, or if you just want to change it out in the middle of the game. You do not have to wait to the end of the game anymore. You can do all this from the menu in the game. So make sure that you do remember that as well. Because that comes in very, very handy to be able to change out attachments and perks as the game is going. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.